Hello everyone! Have you ever wished you were at home with your family or on a beach when you were at work? We exchange our life energy, the energy we desire to utilize elsewhere, for the act of working and earning money. We may recover part of our life energy and decide to live our lives as we want, not as we are forced to when we save money and work for financial freedom. To understand financial freedom, we should find the answer to this question. What do you need money for? It would be best if you thought as deeply as possible, and when you have the answer. Let's begin. Financial freedom refers to the ability to support yourself and all of your costs for the rest of your life, without relying on a job for income. It also refers to having enough money to pay for whatever you initially considered to be the cause for requiring money. Now, keep in mind that you aren't doing this out of laziness, because someone gave you a large sum of money or because you worked until you were old and are now enjoying retirement as a result of your hard work. You can achieve financial independence before turning 25 and choose to retire or leave your employment. Financial freedom is not limited to any age group or demographic. Additionally, you now have the luxury of using your time any way you see fit, which never seemed to be enough previously. Do they have types? Because everyone has distinct financial needs or living standards, financial freedom varies considerably. Someone may have a certain amount of money and claim to be poor, while at the same time being content with their level of financial independence. Financial budget independence is the first category. With this sort of freedom, you are on a budget. You don't have much luxury when it comes to costs, even though you aren't working anymore, because your yearly returns are sufficient to cover your living expenses and your needs. People who fall into this category frequently accept a lower standard of living than they did when they were working. Baseline financial independence is the second. Here, your financial situation is stable and your investment earnings are sufficient to support your living standards. Due to your basic status, you might occasionally even receive an upgrade but always worry that you'll have to accept a subpar product or, even worse, declare bankruptcy. The final one is financial freedom. It's reasonable to say that at this point, you are well off and can live the high life for as long as you like. How do you go about achieving financial independence then? To start saving up to 80% of your monthly income, you must first examine your finances, pay off debt, begin saving, save enough to begin investing, and put forth the necessary work to secure several income streams. When your monthly ROI is sufficient to pay your monthly expenses and even afford extra, you will be financially independent. You must keep in mind, though, that your pursuit of financial independence should not be used as an excuse to neglect other facets of your life that could call for financial support. You can lower it to 70 or 60 if you don't have enough investments to permit 80% savings. You'll still get there, the only difference being that it will take longer. Thank you for watching, guys. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my content. See you soon with the next video.